Steve and Kirsten, we talked to a few young ladies guarding the front of Liz Bolton stables. They say this is obviously a highly sensitive and emotional time for them. They aren't able to say much after last night's fire engulfed several trailers. They say all the horses have been accounted for, but they still haven't released the names of those two people who were found dead inside. A lone horse stands not far from the burned remains of metal horse trailers with yellow caution tape in front. All this at Liz Bolton Stables on North Twin Oaks Valley Road in the unincorporated area of San Marcos when just overnight before 2 a.m. flames shot up from the stables. Firefighters say a home and several trailers were fully engulfed. I didn't watch it for too long, but what I did see, yes, it was flames all over and you can see the skeleton of a couple of structures. It was a lot. San Marcos resident Alejandra Rodriguez, shopping at the Deer Springs Feed and Supply, saw video of the fire posted on her neighborhood Facebook page. I heard someone um, post and they asked about an explosion they heard uh, in the middle of the night, so I wonder if perhaps that was something that was related to it. I know sometimes if the propane tanks get to it, it can cause some noise. Firefighters taped off the equestrian ranch entrance. Smoke shot up for some time as people looked on. The horses were protected and no injuries were reported. But after the fire was out, San Diego County Sheriff's deputies discovered two bodies. One person was found outside a toy hauler travel trailer and the second person was found inside the trailer. Their identities or cause of death have not been released. I'm hoping that it's not anybody we know, but even for people that we don't know, we feel for the family and the friends of those that that died. The sheriff's bomb arson unit is now working to determine what caused this large fire. Detectives do not believe it was a criminal act and say the fire appears to be accidental. Well, with the trailers, it could be anything. It could be electrical. Somebody maybe left a candle unattended, a cigarette. You never know. No other nearby homes or structures were impacted by the fire. We reached out to Liz Bolton Stables, but have not heard anything back as the Sheriff's Department arson investigators are continuing on with their investigation. Stephen Kirsten.